So, what did I miss? Did I miss something in this room? I, I kind of did. Yeah. I, right. Go the go the route less traveled. Sure. Oh, there's also something. Oh, and something here. What are you? Scrap metal. I'll take it. I assume that's what I was meant to do. This will take me outside? Yep. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Of a quandary here. Fine, fine game. Oh, you know what? I probably need to put the battery back in, don't I? How am I even going to get the battery back in? Because I've seemingly done something I probably shouldn't have, thinking I was a clever person. Mine, give me things. Oh, chum, chum egg. Give me. I have seven chum eggs. I'm very lucky. Probably there, yes. Set up royally. That was so very bad. That was terrible bad. I don't think I can I'll give it a try. but whatever. More scrap, thank you. Okay. Oh, is there something behind me? No. 
bridge is now extended. I should. There's something up there. For a chair that's so comfortable, I'm sure I'm sitting with a very bad posture. Hmm. Anyway. Ooh, give me that scrap. Take away the battery from up now. The Dunboyne. Ooh. Dr. Manhattan. Oh shit. Are you going to give me cancer too? To a strange luminous figure. It greets me before I even have a chance to be frightened. Sarah. New user found. Hello. Please enter your new username. I find myself whispering my own name. It suddenly feels odd in my mouth. Like this is the first time I've said it aloud. Welcome, Sable. I've set up a new account for you. Hmm. I ask the mysterious figure about themselves. I am this ship simulated anthropomorphic registry and informational nexus but you can call me Saren I asked Saren why they are here I'm not entirely sure Sable most of my data modules appear to be corrupted I'm attempting access ship I'm attempting to access ship records Saren goes still for a moment transferring ships log to your inbox you have unread messages Sable here are your unread messages. The panel blinks to life. Strange markings and symbols, I assume to be ancient text, spill across the screen as the background colors flash wildly. And then, with a strange buzzing like old fabrics pulling apart, there are voices. Within long range sensors, Captain, we're picking up some anomalous readings from the upper atmosphere. Could be a plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Hmm. Maintain approach at current speed. What's our time to destination? 46 Earth hours, give or take. Good. Let's keep an eye on those energy signatures. And get Saren in on it too. For pattern recognition. Captain? We need to purge our reactors soon, if we don't. I know, I'm aware of the risks, Ellis. But I'm not purging in the middle of space. We follow the protocol and... Spell and the static continues. A few button pushes brings silence, and the screen looks nav navigatable in some way, but I can't decipher anything. No one read the messages. Here are your archive messages. Okay, okay, good. Goodbye. Historical reconnection. Okay, that's part of a quest. Alright. The Dunboyne. Is there anything here for me? The Dunboyne. Escape pods? No, they're, they're bunks. Sleeping bunks. Hmm. I, I guess so. Me to get off the ship. Just yeet myself down. <laughs> Did it matter if I go in here? I don't think so. Yeah, because I can get in there easily. Alright. Get me out of here. Hmm. 
Oh, that was a fun little detour. Fun little detour. You'll never guess why it's called Burnt Oak. Is it because there's a burnt tree there? How did you know? Psychic. Mine. Is there another? No. How many of those things have I got now? Jesus Christ. Six. Yeah. stalk fig undoubtedly my favorite fruit the first thing i would ask for when uh, we pass traveling merchants from with the ibexi okay cool hey what's up well met later we had goats in my clan yes this is how you start conversations with strangers ah so you're familiar with their temperament I suppose you are Abixi? Say hello to Umar and Jaddy for me. Well met, Glider. What's in there? Oh, thank you. Oh, I made this. It's a color palette for a hover bike, inspired by my works as a herder. Here, take some, I insist. I'd be very proud to see you riding with my colors, Sable. Okay, cool. We can change the um the vapor trail of the uh the bike now. Cool. What's up with the statue? Ah, you may recognize her. Oana. She was a great herder of many creatures. They say she came from the whale and herded the ancestors of the creatures we herd today. We teach that keeping your herd near her statues will keep them together well fed and healthy. talk to everyone all right that's interesting i would have liked the ability to talk to every single npc even if it's just like one dumb line of li uh, dialogue or whatever what the fuck is that that's a dung beetle yo that's pretty sick Manic Merchant Bubby, Glider, welcome. Come view my wares. That's a big beetle. <laughs> He's a big boy. Fred. Don't know his size for you, though. He's a soppy fella. Loves his snuggle. Won't help you much if a worm attacks, but he can pull anything through a sand drift without any trouble. Uh, struggle. See you soon. Oh, can I give him a snuggle? Cutie. All right. Where can I get a merchant's badge? Merchants aren't liable to give just uh, to just give our badges freely. 
Your best bet is to head to Ekria. There's a big market in town there. Worth trying to... Worth trying to areas... Worth trying to get areas attention if you want to get yourself some merchant's badges. Be careful how you do it, mind. She's not the friendliest customer. See you soon. Alright, cool. Yeah, and last bit of... Okay, tell me about the camp. This is one of many beetle tent stations around Midden, named after that big old burnt tree over there. I'm not sure what species an oak is, mind. There's plenty of characters passing through here. They're all worth a bother if you're on the gliding. If you're on your gliding. Never know what badges and masks you might pick up. Don't be shy. Chat to the tent owners, interrogate the machinist, and any other people you see around. There's also the scrappers here, just below the big crane over there. There's a lazy scrapper down there. He'll make finding scraps worth your time. See you soon. Alright. Good to know. I'd like to trade with you. Beetle bike? I don't even think we have one of them. I mean, I, I don't really want to spend all the money on it yet. But good to know. I can make a beetle bike. going on here. Oh. The guard before me stands tall, her posture shaped by duty, uniform weathered by years. Guard Elizabeth. Hello there, young glider. I'm nearly startled by the force of her greeting, but her voice is comforting somehow. Warm and welcoming. I greet her with the accidental enthusiasm of a traveller finding a friend. She might uh, she smiles behind the mask, I think. Always nice to meet a fellow tra adventurer, especially now. How are you faring so far? The world is big and I feel very small. You say that like it's a bad thing. Isn't it a wonder, the size of it all? That you can spend your whole life wandering and still find more to see? I think about... The board up fabric and smooth that rock that would make my next pillow, and many to come. My neck aches faintly at the thought of how many nights I'll spend this way. It's possible I'm romanticizing it a little. You see, I'm getting ready to leave on my second gliding. She reads the confusion in my silence. Did no one tell me of the second gliding? I suppose it isn't a real second gliding, but it's how I'm thinking about it. A chance to see the world again and how it's changed. I'm an Ekrin guard, you see, or I was an Ekrin guard. As of three days ago, I'm officially retired. You should have seen the way the others looked at me. There is a laugh in a voice. All of them were so baffled to see me go, telling me how much I'd missed the big city. A few of them even felt sorry for me, like what would I do, now that my life's purpose is complete? Can you imagine? I tried to, but I can barely muster a view of my purpose's start, let alone its end. I shake my head. I say, thank you all for the strange condolences, but tomorrow's tomorrow marks the first time in decades that I'll wake up in the morning and have absolutely no idea what lies ahead. And I've never been more excited. Don't get me wrong, I've loved my work. I've even loved the noise and the trouble of Ekria. But I've spent enough of my life standing around looking hard. It's time to explore. Her glee is infectious. I asked where she'd like to go. And it's the Badlands, I think. I want to see the Bridge of the Betrayed. If you haven't already, you should definitely go and see it yourself. You'll want the Northern Badlands, southwest of here. I nod, trying to keep the directions in mind. Elizabeth, uh, and Elizabeth gives me a little tap. Maybe I'll see you up there. And she's gone. And that was weird. And she's gone. Okay. A little bit glitchy. I would like them to sort that out, but it is what it is. Oh. I meet Ifa, the innkeeper of the camp. Oh, what? Insect. Insect mask. What can I do for you? 
Do you have any tasks that need doing? Before I even finish the question, Tifa shouts. Lava husks! I repeat the words back at her as a clarification. She nods. I need some lava husks. They're... How much do you know about beetles? <laughs> what is a beetle, really? A little bit. I know a little bit. Well, I'm not sure if this is part of that little bit. But larval husks are what gets left behind when the beetle larvae grows. Beautiful. Really tough casings. If you don't mind, I'd be grateful if you could collect some for me. The type I'm looking for are Hercules beetles. You won't need to go far, but the nest is guarded by the mother beetle. You'll have to find a way to get past her. I tell her I'll do my best. Anything else I can help with? That's it. Alright. Mama beetle. Can I get out? Thank you. Can't talk with her. At least it didn't phase through. Something up here. Oh, it's like a stag beetle. I get it. Okay. I can't quite get up there, it's fine. Ooh. I love the little chum eggs. Hey. Nope, can't get in there. I don't know what happened then. Hmm. Hello? The machinist looks me over. You're late. I'm perfectly on time. No. Game over. I tell them yes. They at least consider it. Hmm. No, you are late. Perplexed, I wait for them to explain themselves, but they seem to wait for the same. Briefly, I feel a hint of shame as I remember times I have been late to my dear Bexy, things I have slipped up in doing. So I dismiss my doubts as I recall that I have no idea who this strange machinist is. I ask them. My name is Utari. Of immediate relevance to you is that I am a friend of Sizo. I ask then if Sizo alerted them to my impending arrival. Perhaps she looks out for me and sets waypoints and a o oasis along my oases along my gliding. Comforting thought. No, no, no. It was your hover bike. I heard it for the first time months ago, and I felt the shape of its voice of her voice. Sorry. I tell Utari that it was not Simo and they heard, for Sizzle and I only built her a few days hence. They waved their hands at me in a hurried dismissal. Did, teach, uh, did Sizzle teach you so little? The voices of our machines are eternal, more ancient even than their forms. More ancient even than their forms. I hear them, I always have. And yours I thought would revisit me sooner, but here we are. Now let us speak of why you have come. Something has stopped the wind tower working, and I stop Utari to explain I've already fixed the wind tower, and I wish I could see the expression on their face. <laughs> I already have the dragon stone from Dragon's uh, Reach. From, um, no, Bleak Ball's Barrow. I already have the dragon stone. You already fixed it? I rode back my heels and said yes. Well, why didn't you say so? You're not late at all, are you? You're perfectly on time, and I owe you an apology. I hope you'll accept it. Before I can tell them whether I do or not, they roll right over me. 
and I insist that you accept this. Ooh. Utari produces a machinist badge, holding it out for me to take them. You may have been late in coming, but here you are where you were meant to be. I give you this badge, not only recognition of where you have been and what you have done, but in honour of one of many possibilities. That you may, if you so choose, become one of us, who heard the unheard language of Simoon and her vast connections. This badge is but one, and you will need to earn more from others who carry them. But if and when you do, the caster will know what you have chosen, and you may wear the mask of the machinist. I thank Utari for it, and tell them I have much to consider. For just a moment, I hear the faintest ringing in my left ear, distant and deep like a river below the sands. Listen. And then it glitched that, okay. It was, was it this one? No, it was this one. Was it this one? I don't know. Can I help? I'd like to customize my bike. Oh shit, I can increase the- oh, that's awesome! I didn't even think that was a possibility. Okay. Achievement locked under the hood. Alright. I've gotta try it. Okay, so that's... Alright, uh, what about... Yeah, I want to use that as my... As my vapor trail. Let's see if it's going to allow me. Okay, interesting. Maybe I can put the smoke in later or somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, that's the oh, that's like a beetle hovercraft. Okay. That's another one. Hmm. Interesting. Machinist badges. Do you want to bouldering top? No. No, I think we're good. We think we're good for now. Right. Let's let's um find the um the person that I can sell the scrap to. Cheeky then. Oh, a bit, a bit cheeky. Yeah. Look, I gotta get my laundry in before it gets too like um before it gets dark because when it gets dark, the laundry gets uh damp from the night air. So I need to quickly get that in. I'll be back with with more sable very soon. But for now, I'm going to be on a short break, and I will be right back. Let me see if I can get the correct uh. Is that it? Yeah. I will be right back. Okay? Okay. <laughs> 